perfectionism. Does it always have to be super perfect? Hello and welcome, I'm Naomi McLaughlin and today I want to talk to you about perfectionism. Does it really have to be perfect all the time? I mean, think about spelling errors, grammar errors, errors in anything you say or do online and I think it doesn't have to be perfect all the time because the more real you are, the more people are going to like you because I think everything can't be perfect in our world and it isn't really, is it? So, if uh, once in a while you realize, oh no, this was so embarrassing because you've made a mistake, laugh about it, post about it, and also comment on your own posts. And if it's really so bad, then just delete them and forget about it. Because nobody's gonna judge you on a, on a spelling mistake or something that hasn't been perfect. I've done that in the past. I've misspelled so many words in the past or forgotten an E or uh, just used the wrong word for it and people would comment on it and most of the time the comments were actually lovely and nice. I mean just pointing something out instead of just uh, dragging me down or something. Just forget about all these negative comments if you do get some but like I said um, I haven't so far and I've made mistakes. Not everything is perfect, not even my videos. If you've seen my last video, for instance, um, <laughs> about giving you a quick tutorial on how to do your own font. And if you've watched it, and if you haven't, I, I really recommend watch it because you will notice that I, I actually thought, oh, I will just quickly make a video and teach you how to make your own font because I've done it before. But in that particular video, I really made loads of mistakes. For instance, I've used a felt tip that was actually bleeding on the paper. So, and because of that, um, the font wouldn't, um, or the scan wouldn't pick up my letters properly. The second mistake I made was to um, scan it the wrong way, like upside down, the wrong, wrong way around. And again, that was a mistake. But did I erase my video? No, I've still uploaded it because I thought it's actually funny to see and also to learn from somebody else's mistake so that you don't have to make the same mistake when you watch the video. And eventually it actually worked and my font looks lovely, to me at least. And again, I got really nice comments um, on the video and, and some really nice emails saying, hey, wow, awesome, thank you for teaching me. So in any case, If you've liked this video, then please like, follow, comment and share. And if you have any particular questions, then please email them to me. I'm Naomi McLaughlin. Goodbye for today.